How will history remember Mayor Lori Lightfoot? She is one of the few one-term mayors in Chicago, and she made history as the first openly gay black female mayor. CBS2 political investigator Data Kozlov takes a deep dive into her legacy. Lori Lightfoot entered the mayor's office with a citywide tsunami of support over her promise of change. Strong schools for every child, regardless of neighborhood. Four years later, God bless you. And God bless our city. Lightfoot is leaving City Hall to little fanfare, but many believe not in vain. I think Mayor Lightfoot should hold her head up high. Outgoing 6th Ward Alderman Roderick Sawyer doesn't say that lightly. He ran against Lightfoot in this year's mayoral election to run the fifth floor differently than she did. But Sawyer says Lightfoot is leaving office having shrunk the city's deficit with a true balanced budget in sight. She did a respectable amount of work here in the city of Chicago. <laughs> Work that political science professor Connie Mixon says also included a commitment to investing in the city's south and west sides and laying the groundwork for expansion of the red line. I think her push for equity in underserved areas of the city will be something that she's remembered by. Mixon and others also credit Lightfoot for the intangible, like getting a city council ethics reform ordinance passed and virtually ending aldermanic prerogative or their ultimate decision-making power. Is there any other thing that you want to call to the chair's attention? No. Uh, All right, so, sir, well, we'll take your issue under advisement. We're going to move forward. A campaign promise Mixon says Lightfoot made good on. Her ability to break up parts, key parts of that machine, if sustained over the long term, I think she'll be remembered as the mayor who broke up machine politics. She also increased the city's minimum wage to $15 an hour and, of course, led the city through COVID and civil unrest. At times criticized, all of it unapologetically. I will code what I really want to say to Donald Trump. It's two words. It begins with F and it ends with you. Sometimes Sawyer believes to a fault. A lot of voters like the fact that she was feisty, that you know, that she's sticking it to, you know, sticking it to us or sticking it to whoever. But a lot of others that really dive, that, that would dive into that can see that it was not beneficial to the city. But Mixon says criticizing Lightfoot's tough and at times combative demeanor is a slippery slope. While it may have hurt her reelection bid, it's a criticism not lobbed at her predecessors. Never again. Rahm Emanuel and Richard M. Daley. No way. Both of whom were also known as tough. I kind of just don't want to ever add to that chorus of people that talk about her not being likable enough or you know, not getting along well with older persons, because I do think there's there's a lot of underlying sexism. She was fighting a lot of headwinds. And former Alderman Dick Simpson believes her governing style will ultimately be a small footnote to her legacy. I think she will be remembered very well in the history books. I believe it's going to be considered a transitory period, you know, a period of transition, a period of we're trying to still figure ourselves out as a city. Lightfoot will also be noted as a one-term mayor, but Sawyer believes, historically speaking, that won't be a strike against her. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Thank you. Thank you, Dana.